guys, so I'm gonna be wiring a painting today. It's the big one from the Andia Conference. I'm super stoked. I'll show you here it is in the back of the truck I'm gonna be putting a uh, wiring it so it can be hung two different directions I've never done that before done that before but I think it uh, should be doable so I'm gonna try it cool I'll show you guys pictures or maybe a short video of it so I'm wiring the painting and I miscalculated the wire I had enough to do to make it so it could hang one way but not the second way so I'm to, I think there's a department store close by or a hardware store close by so I'm gonna go there and see if I can find some more wire because the painting's in the back of the truck and I don't want to like re-secure it to go drive aways so I'm gonna see if I can find something I don't know this part of town at all because we haven't lived here that long and I'm never in this part of the town but uh yeah cool see you guys alright so as you know I just walked to Ace Hardware and I stopped at the Asian store and found tamarind and lychee juice. I'm so excited. I love both of them and I don't get to drink them very often. So I'm stoked about that. Um yeah, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the lychee first. Mmm, I love it. These are one of my favorite fruits. When we were in India, like every day we just had fruit for breakfast. And like the Indians thought we were crazy, but we're like, we're from Laramie, Wyoming. We don't get fresh fruit. Like People, and even like living in the Tri City, people like, what what vegetable crops do you guys grow? And I was like, beef and bison. So, anyways, lychee is one of those. Oh my gosh, I love it. Mm, I'm going to enjoy it. So I'm gonna go back to work, and actually, I'll show you. All right, so you can see how I'm doing the painting. Oh, it was zoomed in way far. My bad. That was probably really weird to look at me. Um. But yeah, you can see I wired it from the bottom and then it goes up. There we go. Up, 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 up. And I did like a double thing um, because that's how much extra I had. Then it came comes back down. I haven't tied it yet. I guess I looped it, but I'll tie it well. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but starting like down on the bottom and going up and then across and back. Because I think the lady um, who bought it wants to hang it above a piano for a while, but she wants to the option to be able to hang it both ways, so I'm gonna see if it'll work on. Um, I'm not sure, but cool. Thanks for joining me today, and it's, uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to tie this knot. It's basically a slip knot, but when you only have one end to work with, you can't double it in half and then create a slip knot on something that's already there. So what I'm doing, I'm trying to do it with one hand while I'm holding the camera, which was a really bad idea. Alright, so you're basically creating a slip knot. You take the loose end of the wire and put it through the hole, and then you take it back up and create a crease around the wire that's pulled tight, and then you go back the same direction you just came from since the wire's holding it in place, and you take the loose end back through the loop that was the crease. I didn't show this, but you'll also wrap the loose wire around itself to secure it. All right, I'm excited to finally have this in the garage. It's uh, leaning against a wall. The um, recording studio is, it hasn't been set up yet in the garage, so it's here for now. But I think the plan is to put it above uh, the piano, and so it'll be up there. Um, yeah, so like right above it, like that. But uh, I'm stoked to have it here. It fits. I'm so excited that it can go in several different directions and um, yeah, I'm just excited to have it in a place that it'll fit and be loved and seen by people and all of those good things. So yeah, it's exciting. It feels good to have it in here. Awesome. Bye.